Do you ever wonder where your favorite recipes or cooking techniques originated from? Maybe you love to eat bread pudding, or maybe you love to poach eggs. Well, I'm Candace with Designer Specialties in Hardware, and in this episode of Cooking with Candace, we are going to dig into the origin of the cooking technique blackening. If you haven't already done so, go ahead, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. First, let's talk about the dish that we're going to be making today. We are going to cook blackened red snapper. For this dish, you're going to need your fish, fresh parsley, lemon juice, Cajun seasoning, olive oil, and a cast iron pan. We're going to go ahead and get our fish dried off real well, season it, and then we'll be ready to put it in the cast iron pan. This technique of blackening was created by world-renowned chef Paul Prudhomme, and the first dish that he blackened was redfish. This became such a popular dish that the commercial fishing of this species was restricted to keep the species from going extinct. We are getting the fish dry, getting some of the moisture out so that we can season it. Let's talk about Paul Prudham. He was born in 1940 to a farmer and a creative cook. His mom stayed at home and cooked, which is where he got his love for cooking. When he was only 17 years old, he opened his first restaurant. That restaurant closed nine months later and he became a magazine salesman instead of having anything to do with the food industry. Paul then moved to New Orleans in 1970 and began working as a chef at several well-known restaurants. Eventually, he ended up at Commander's Palace, which is one of the most famous restaurants in New Orleans. He was the first American-born executive chef at that restaurant. Just four years later, he opened his own restaurant with his wife called K. Paul's Louisiana Kitchen. That restaurant ended up being the start of some of the most well-known foods that we know and love in the Creole and Cajun cuisine industry today. I'm just double checking to make sure these are coated real well before we heat up the pan and throw them on to go ahead and get those started cooking in the cast iron skillet. When Paul Prudhomme opened his restaurant, K. Paul's, he continued working at Commander's Palace as long as he could. Whenever it got too busy and he was no longer able to be a chef there, he then appointed Emeril Lagasse, which some of you may know as a world-renowned chef, celebrity chef, and TV personality today in 2021. Our fish is seasoned and ready to go on the skillet. We're going to take our olive oil and pour it in the skillet, heat the pan, and whenever the oil is nice and shimmery, we know it's hot enough to go ahead and add the fish. We want to coat the bottom of the pan with the olive oil. You don't need a lot of it in there, just enough to coat that. Getting this grease nice and hot, and then we're going to add the fish. What we're looking for is a thin crust of black across the bottom, and that's when you know you're ready to flip the fish because that is the blackening part. Typically, you're going to cook the fish about five to six minutes before flipping it. That's going to give you the blackened crust across the bottom. The fish is almost gonna be cooked all the way through before you flip it. Now back to Chef Paul. He eventually opened a restaurant on Broadway in New York City as well. Although in 2005, he had to close K. Paul's Louisiana Kitchen due to Hurricane Katrina. While his restaurant was closed, he served meals to the military and the residents of the French Quarter and at one point served over 6,000 meals in 10 days. All of that he did at no charge and really just out of the goodness of his heart and trying to help his local community. A few months later in October of that year, he was able to reopen K. Paul's Louisiana Kitchen. After he did so, he received the Humanitarian Award for his efforts and cooking during the Hurricane Katrina relief. You can blacken other meats and other dishes as well. And when you do this, you do not have to use a cast iron pan, but a cast iron pan is going to hold the heat much better than any other option. 
Some recipes call for blackened seasoning and you can bake it in the oven with that. That still gives it a blackened flavor, but you're not getting a true Creole blackened dish. Blackened seasoning and blackened fish are not the only foods that Chef Paul Prudhomme brought into the fine dining scene. He is also noted for bringing crawfish and dewy sausage and red beans to fine dining menus all across the state of Louisiana. Let's go ahead and flip this fish. You're going to know the fish is done whenever it's flaky and falls apart with a fork. If it's firm still, it needs to cook a little more and it is not ready to take out of the pan. One issue that you may have is that the fish may stick to the bottom of that pan. And if it happens, it may cause the fish to fall apart a little, but that's okay. It does not affect the flavoring. It just may not look as pretty. Now, sadly, Chef Paul Prudhomme passed away in 2015. Although he's gone, we will have his foods and his creations that he contributed to the Creole and Cajun cuisine for years to come. Once your fish is fully cooked, go ahead and plate it. You can garnish it with fresh parsley and a little bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna squirt some lemon juice over this fish, which gives it a really great flavor. And then you're ready to eat. If you love this Louisiana recipe, go ahead and click that like button. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and then tune in again for our next episode of Cooking with Candace, where we introduce you to another Creole, Cajun, or Louisiana recipe.